Connections is trying to address two really pressing needs in education today. The first is uh, access. We, we aim to provide universal access to everyone in the world, uh, very high quality educational materials. The second is uh, flexibility. We aim to provide a platform so that instructors and teachers all around the world can create the perfect textbook for their course. You could view Connections as a, as a grand experiment in collaborative knowledge building. The idea of taking the ethos really of open source software, the, the idea of a uh, global community of, of developers working together right, to move forward some uh, uh, entity or, or idea, uh, but applied to learning materials, textbooks, curriculum. One of the fundamental ideas that we're trying to advance is that every course is different. Every teacher is different and every student is different. And, and the fundamental premise behind Connections is empowering teachers to be able to create not just, an, not just pull an off-the-rack textbook from a, a shelf, but create the perfect textbook for their course. Connections has a special e-textbook building tool that allows, uh, say, a teacher to search through the repository, find the relevant materials, and then sequence them together into a customized course. They can then point their students to uh, that course on the web. They could also generate an EPUB version for their uh, smartphone or their uh, tablet computer, or even uh, generate a, a, a file that can be printed on demand and provided at really low cost to the, to the class. We have about 19,000 little educational building blocks, and these are woven together into about 1,100 uh, e-textbooks and, and courses. And these materials are used by about uh, 2 million uh, users per month from just about every country connected to the internet. If you look at Connections, one of the beauties is that it invites individuals from around the world, universities or not, to make the contributions. So you'll see community colleges, you'll see individual teachers at the secondary and the tertiary level making the contributions and then having it available worldwide for free. Connections believes that, that people learn better when they uh, first can, can see and explore the nonlinear and, and really sometimes exciting and interesting ways that, that ideas are connected, that it's precisely the, the interconnections that, that gets people really jazzed up and wants to learn. I think uh, uh, coupled with that is uh, there's no question that people learn better when the, the uh, educational materials are, are, are personalized and customized both to account for their background and their context and the learning goals that they're aiming to achieve. The view in Connections is that a teacher really becomes an active participant in the process as a potentially a curator of content and also as an organizer of content. And so they really become an active member of the community rather than just a, a person who is passing on the information. I was just very fortunate that, that uh, people at Rice University were extremely supportive uh, from, uh, from the beginning and, and continue to be very supportive and have helped us raise millions of dollars in philanthropic support to be able to build the platform, to be able to spread it worldwide. Uh, but, but moving forward, in addition to philanthropic support, we are really taking a, a page out of, out of the open source world where we are trying to build uh, an ecosystem around connections that will sustain both the platform and the, the vision. Uh, very much in the same way that open source software, for example, like Linux, uh, has a, a whole sustaining ecosystems of, of companies around it who live in a kind of a symbiotic relationship with the software. They are uh, uh, gaining from the, the fact that the software is there. They're making money, but then they feel obligated as a community member to contribute back. We're creating the exact same kind of ecosystem where uh, uh, nonprofit and for-profit educational uh, uh, entities and companies can both profit and, and exploit the connections materials, but they can also uh, give back and, and sustain the uh, ecosystem. Many of these OER projects are donor driven, but when the funding dries up, uh, the project ends. But what Connections has done is that it's got a very viable business model. 
because it's got a combination of partners which are both non-profit and for-profit entities. So by having a combination of these two streams, it's already sort of, you know, ensured the sustainability of its operations. The, the future is certainly around personalization. Uh, the idea of being able to build an e-textbook that actually learns about you while you are learning from it. And at Connections, we're actually building uh, a, a personalized learning system of this kind. And we're combining the uh, very diverse, high quality content in Connections with the latest research results from cognitive science on how people actually learn uh, and with uh, the latest machine learning algorithms from computer science and computer engineering into uh, an immersive system that uh, enables a student to have an experience that uh, is different from all the other students in their class, it's, that's personalized directly to their interests, and also changes day in and day out as their interests change and as they progress through a field. And, and we really believe that this will produce a step change in uh, learning outcomes worldwide. Thank you.